Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. I'm Matthew. Today I'm in the technical lab at our UK hub in Chatterton, Manchester. Let's get started. In this video, we're looking at the Hikvision IP intercom. We're going to be setting up two door stations to call one handset. Looking at the wiring here, it's a standard IP configuration. So I've got a, a five port switch. Uh, two ports being used by the door stations, going back to port one, port two. And the third port is being used by the handset. In addition to the hardware, you're going to need some software. You're going to need IVMS 4200 and SADP, both available from the Hikvision website and you're going to need a laptop to program this up. And now let's open IVMS. If this is the first time using IVMS, it asks you to set a, a username and a password. It gives you a prompt. OK, so we're on the maintenance and management screen with an IVMS. And the procedure is we need to add the devices to the client so we can modify them. So let's get on with adding these into uh, SADP. So let's do the bottom one first. Highlight it, uh, sorry, tick it, and click add the name. Let's call it um, door one. IP address, we know that's okay, be that's okay. Username could be admin. And the password, this is the password you previously set up in SADP. Synchronize the time is always a good idea. Um, once you're happy with that, it's name, it's IP address, and time sync. Press add. And that adds it into the, um, to the Hikvision claim. And you can see uh, the devices online. So I'll just add the other two devices now, and um, we'll resume after that. And there we go, that's the three devices now added to the client, um, door one, door two, and the handset monitor. Uh, I just I called it by its part number, it's an 8350. Okay, so all the devices are added now, and what we have to do is some configuration. So if we say we go to door one, first of all, we'll make that our master. If we scroll along here, um, you can see you've got the, the universal cog for settings. So let's do some remote configuration on this one. And maximize this. Well, here, let's give it a, let's give it a name. It comes in handy this in a moment. We'll call this uh, front door. Okay, let's go to uh, device management and then we're going to add a device let's add a, uh, a sub door station uh, the password is the password you've already given all your devices uh, confirm that do this one in a moment the IP address of the sub 192 168.1.102 subnet 255.255.255.0 gateway 192.168.254 port 800 uh, we need the serial number of this device. So if we go to 102, there's a serial number, uh, D104. Let's add this in. D104, whatever the rest is. 26291. Two six. Two nine one, and let's add that. Oh, tick OK for that, and that adds it to your um, to your input list, to your list there. Okay, then let's go to intercom. 
go to session settings, uh, registration password. Uh, click save. With that configured, let's go to the subdoor station and edit some changes there. So there's the subdoor station. Um, let's do some changes. Change its name, why not? Then let's go down to a intercom, session settings, registration password. Press save. Let's go to device and make sure that it's um, It's a door station, it's floor one, and it's door station number one. Then press save. And in the background there, the door station will reboot. So we can close out of this window while we're waiting for that. And then finally, we need to go to the handset and change its settings there. So the handset being 8350 wall, go to there. And then we can go down to network, group network settings, your registration password, the main station IP, nine So we'll copy that while we're here. And then Paste that there and then press save. That button there is saved. So let's close out of that. Then, one last thing to do let's go back to the door station, the sub door station, the second one. Now it's rebooted, we just need to make a couple of changes. So, let's go to intercom. Session settings, type in your password. And what we have to do now is tell it its uh, main door IP address, the, the master. Yeah, that's already populated there. Click save. Save succeeded. And we are done. So now, if I press door one, it should ring the phone, which it does. So I'll end that call. And then if I go to door two and press that one, there we go. That one's calling too. And that's the setup and configuration of two outdoor door stations calling one indoor handset. Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.